Okay, next step for world conquest. I mean, uh, wrong channel. Uh, the next thing we want to do to get our uh, OM617 running perfectly is uh, a popular thing. I've not actually tried this. I've usually done another route, but I've heard really great things about this. And so I'm going to give it a try. And that is... Liquamoly Diesel Purge. I've heard that this stuff is pretty incredible, and so we're going to do the process of doing a diesel purge on our fuel injection system. So let's take a look at what we're going to have to do to do that. The first thing you're going to have to do is uh, drink an entire jar of uh, pasta sauce, or find a jar that's already empty I guess would also work. Um, then you'll need to drill two holes in the top, get some fuel line, uh, any quarter five sixteenths ish type fuel line will work just fine for this. I happen to have some of this blue stuff laying around so I uh, recycled that and uh, uh, cut a piece of the black line. You want one line to go all the way to the bottom of the pasta sauce can and one you can just stick through the lid. Uh, ideally if it's fairly snug on the holes so that you don't end up with stuff sloshing around uh, while we're doing this. So find a good spot to plant that uh, in the engine bay somewhere for now. And uh, what we're going to be doing is disconnecting our supply line. Let's get the camera down in here. Come on, adjust. Our supply line on our lift pump. It's the rearmost fitting right here that has this hose coming out of it don't know if you can even see it on camera because of the sunlight is kind of messing with the exposure. But uh, we're going to take this line off and then we're going to come up here and take this cigar line off the uh, return line so that we'll have a closed loop right here in the engine bay where we can suck the diesel purge out of the pasta can into the lift pump, run it through the injection pump, then right back into the can so that it, we can just cycle through and burn just diesel purge so that we're not returning any to the tank. Now it is important to make sure that we do that because if we just took the um, input line for the lift pump off and did it, uh, it would just suck it up and pump it back to the fuel tank of the car and we wouldn't really gain any benefit because it wouldn't run on those solvents that that straight cleaner uh, wouldn't get circulated for long to do any actual work. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, so down in here, I'm going to pull the supply line off of the lift pump. It just has a hose clamp on it. So we loosen that up and then pull our hose off. And I'm just gonna take the hose and shove it up here so that it doesn't leak diesel everywhere. Then I'm gonna take my hose that goes to the bottom of the can I'm going to stick that back on and you know I've got a little fuel filter here and this is the wrong kind of filter to use on these diesels. You don't want a paper element um, pre-lift pump on these because it restricts the flow dramatically. The secondary filter should be a paper filter but pre-lift pump should basically just be a screen, a mesh. But I'm using this paper filter because I'm not going to be running the car at high RPM, high load, where we're gonna need to the fuel and we don't wanna starve the injection pump of fuel. So <clears throat> I'm gonna be using this just so that it can filter out any grunge that gets uh, recycled back on this uh, return line. So I'll reach down in here and stick this hose onto there. And the great part, this blue hose seals up really tight. So I don't even need to put a, a hose clamp on there for this uh, procedure. Switch my screwdriver over to a Phillips. We'll pop this guy off. This hose is not looking superbly healthy. I may have to replace this before long. I'm seeing some dry rot on this cigar hose. So we're gonna pull and twist and pull and twist and see if we can't get this cigar hose to pop itself off. It's probably been on there for who knows how long. Then we're going to take and do the same thing here. Squeeze this 
blue hose, if it will squeeze. Right onto that fitting. So now we're gonna open our pasta can. And just kind of prop it here anywhere. I don't know if you need to shake this stuff up, but I'm gonna shake it up. And we'll open this up. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> our hoses are in. So we'll pump our primer pump a little bit, make sure we've got all the air out. We can pump it until we see fuel coming up this line. Now that there's fuel dribbling back into our little container there, let's make sure this is set somewhere good where it's not gonna tip over or hit something. And uh, we'll go start the car and uh, watch what happens. So now basically we just let it run until it uses up all this fuel or diesel fur. And that should help clean up any inside the injection system. This can has been getting darker and darker, so I'm thinking maybe it is actually doing something and it's breaking some deposits down. But it's been running now for probably 10 minutes or so. Um, I'm gonna let it run until it's just about out in that can. I don't want it to be all the way out because I don't wanna have to bleed all the injector lines and everything, but uh, we're gonna Keep letting it run for a little bit and then reconnect the fuel system and uh, see how it does. It, it does seem to be running perhaps a little bit smoother. Um, I'll turn the mic around so that you can really hear it and uh, make a decision if we've uh, made any difference. Purge here, trying to get as much through with that as we can, but we're starting to get some more air bubbles, so I think it's about time to shut it off and put stuff back how it was. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is try and get this down somewhere a little bit low so that we can drain this return line. Okay. Now, let's Pop that off, pop our cigar line on. We're going to disconnect this blue hose down here, tip this up and let it drain back into our can. Reconnect our supply line from the pre-filter. Switch my screwdriver over. And then tighten this line up. Prime our system, make sure that everything is full and ready to go so we don't have any unexpected surprises when we come to take this car for a test drive.
there we have it. So that's really all there is to doing a diesel purge on your mechanical diesel. I say that because it'll work on pretty much any uh, mechanical diesel. And so, yeah, um, it did seem to slightly smooth the car out, maybe quiet it down a little bit. Probably didn't have as big of an effect on my car because we've done the injectors, we've done all the fuel filters, that kind of stuff. So for the most part, I'd say the fuel system was fairly healthy in this car, um, but it never hurts to do a little extra cleaning, that's for sure. So um, uh, if you're having issues with your car, uh, maybe you can uh, give this a try and uh, it might just uh, help you get a little bit smoother idle, a better running, a little more power. Thanks for watching.